So, um, back, I've had my Monte Carlo since I was five. Back in 1985, and it just got put in a building, and we said we'd fix it up, and when I start driving, I could drive it to high school and stuff. So, um, I don't have any pictures of that car before it was restored, so it's kind of like a mystery as to if, if somewhere out there in some family album or something, extended family, there's a picture of this car. Um, but any anything to do with that car that I can remember back when I was young is a, a very treasured memory. So um, back in the late, oh, I'm gonna say early to mid 90s, this property right here was an office. This house was my grandfather's house in the 80s, but he moved and this became an office for the family business. They parked a few cars out there for sale and they had another kind of business. So, I remember having the car out here and I had parts and I would paint parts and sand parts out here and different things when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And somehow or another, I got a hold of another extra 70 Monte grill. And we know how Jared loves grills. Grills, grills, grills. Like the Motley Crue song, you know, grills, grills, grills. <laughs> and uh, I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't want to put it in my room. It's just big and bulky up in my closet and stuff. So I decided when I was about 14 years old, and this was about 25, 26 years ago, to put the grill in this storage room. All right, right here in this storage room. And I remember putting it up way up high somewhere on a shelf way up high so it would be totally out of the way and that nobody would mess with it and I'd have it, you know, someday if I ever needed it. And years later, I come back in here and it's gone. It's nowhere to be found. Now, I don't come in here very often, but every time I do come in here, it reminds me of that grill that was lost. Somehow somebody took it in moving, you know, um, there was a renter that once lived in here in the late 90s. They may have, you know, cleaned out and moved that out of there when they cleaned out and it's just long gone. But every time I come in here for some reason, I check again, like it's gonna reappear somehow magically or something. It's not gonna happen. But that's what my crazy mind goes to. So I was in here and I was kind of reminiscing and uh, thinking, looking. And then I, my sight goes, ah, let's see, worth a try. So I pull, I pull down this thing and I stick my head up in there. And you won't believe what I found. I have not heard this story yet. Just an FYI for everyone. This is totally... I'm totally untouched for 26 years. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is amazing. Wow. Unfortunately, it does have a tiny bit of damage on it. But this was the original. But this been in the, you, this kind of is a cool story. You just found this thing. Yeah. And didn't know you had it. I thought it was, it was in the attic. Lost. Got a little dent right there. That's all. This was on my Monte Carlo original. So that was on your car. I think this was yeah. the, the one it was born with. Well, that makes sense because you got a uh, black cherry overspray here. Yeah. Wow. So I cleaned up another one that was better and put it on there uh, back then. Well, folks, I did not know that's a neat story here. Uh, again, I had not heard this story. I was just holding the camera as he told it. I'm just as shocked. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty crazy. Did you find anything else? No, nope, that was it. There was a box full of Christmas lights up there. And that yeah. Was wow. Was up there. But you originally put it in the other room, and it got moved to the attic. That's 
how I remember it, but yeah. I, I may have put it You in may have put it up there. And just remembered it wrong all these years. I thought it was long gone. Well, folks, see it again. let this be a lesson. How many rare parts are still out there in people's attics waiting to be found again? Start checking the attics. I think this is a, a good story for people to maybe look again because you never know what you might find. I was afraid you'd think it was a boring story. No, it's a good story. It's a good one. Okay. It's a good one. Worth the time. Worth the time. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see y'all next time.